how to decide what to buy. For future, you have to invest now. Unfortunately, people buy when there is a compliance or there is an accident. So if a radioactive source reaches to a steam plant and it reaches to the water, then there will be a disaster. Hello everyone, it's Anna from my script team and today we are with the Mr. Amit Bhargava. He is director of Redcom Systems. Hello Mr. Amit, how are you doing? Yeah, hi, I'm fine. How did you start yourself in this industry and uh, you can tell also about your background? Oh yeah, it's been a long story but I will cut short and uh, with brief you that I started my career as an IT professional and uh, since long I was very much excited about the IoT stuff since I came across uh, Ned, uh, Steve who is the father of uh, Redcom and uh, he's a very wonderful person and he uh, made me excited to look into radiation equipments uh, from a very different perspective because he made me understand it from a very layman language and I found it to be very exciting because this is the need of the hour that industry should put these equipments in place. And since 2012, I interacted with Steve and understood more about radiation and I ended up having Redcom India in place. And uh, we have installation all across uh, the world and we cover 80% of the Steve scrapyards all across the world. Wherever you go, you will find Redcom equipment at the entry point as a primary production. Mr. Ahmed, why are uh, people who has a scrap yard or who are scrap traders, why they should have or why they should buy any rotation of the uh, system? I would say that there is radiation present all up, around us all the time. And uh, like we have uh, heat present all around us all the time. So, if any change in heat, you feel that. If any change in radiation, you don't feel that. So, to find any change in the background radiation, you need to have the equipment in place. And if your question is that, how you get radiation in, in your vicinity, that radiation comes from isotopes and isotopes are made by humans. And because humans know that this is harmful, so they seal the sources and they seal it in a manner that even on contact, you will not find any leakage of radiation. And as the time passes, these all radio radiation equipments which are there in the industry uh, goes into the scrapyard uh, as a scrap happens after some time in the industry and they go into the recycling. And this is how it reaches to the steel plant. And then the finished product comes out. So if there is no monitoring in the scrapyard or in the steel plant, then that radiation reaches to the humans. And this is very helpful. So now, world has a lot of monitors. They have put it, the advanced countries have put in the monitors. So anything which is getting as a finished product and reaching over there, there is a lot of penalties and a lot of cost involved to clean up. And uh, that's why people buy the radiation monitor now. Unfortunately, people buy when there is a compliance or there is an accident. So my ask is that people should put these monitors in place in advance so that they save themselves from disaster. How to decide what to buy uh, to monitor radiation? Oh, that's a very good question. And uh, I would like to brief out the products, how it has grown up in the past, what is happening today and what's the future. So in the early days, uh, there were GM tubes which were used to monitor the radiation and GM tubes uh, had a lot of uh, false alarms, a lot of error was there. And those uh, radiation monitors of GM tube based were, uh, were uh, replaced by the next generation of equipments uh, of which were PVT based equipments. 
polyvinyl toilet, which is the most popular equipment these days. And the future is the crystal-based solutions. And uh, earlier crystals were very expensive. Now crystals are cheap, uh, low cost. So the solutions, uh, crystal-based solutions, have less error, less false alarm, more accurate because they work with spectral analysis. Whereas PVT-based systems have less life because they degrade. So our normal PVT-based system has a life of eight and a half years. Whereas crystal based system has a life of minimum 20 years. So that way, initial investment is little higher than the PVT based system, but you get two, three times the value in one, one time investment. And there is less false alarms and uh, more uh, uh, reliability of the system is more and accuracy is more. So now I think people can uh, think of either the PVT based system. Or a crystal based system, or they can look for hybrid system. If they serve something, yeah. If somebody is looking for a radiation monitor, then uh, whatever product they select, they should go and check how reliable and welcomed by the industry that product is. So, if you talk about the PVT based system, then more the PVT you have, and uh, that is that has more sensitivity. Crystal based systems are new, so you should look for the test reports. So, any supplier who is a genuine uh, research oriented organization has a backing, they will have test reports of their product. So, people should look for the suppliers who have uh, good installations all across the industry. So, I think that's the way to look for the right product. Yes, here we have the shipping crisis. Did it affect the company? If your question is, did COVID affect affected your company operations and your company? Yeah, it affected us uh, in a very major way. A lot of orders which were finalized and which were out of our factory and they were about to load on the ships, companies put on hold those orders and there were orders which were cancelled. So we hit by COVID in context to business, yes, there was a big hit. And if you are asking about whether the shipment crisis is hitting you, yes, our shipments uh, cost has gone up because the transportation has, has gone up. And uh, beyond that, COVID has created a, another shortage of uh, the chips, chipsets and processors. And that has made our equipment more expensive. So some people who have negotiated us, now we cannot give them on the negotiated price because the price of raw material, raw product for our product has gone up. So we are not able to meet the timelines which we were committing. And now the deliveries which used to happen in a four week time, now it is stretched to 12 week time. So, so it's not only the shipment, it's not only the delays but it's a, as a whole industry it is impacted a bad day and uh, yes shipping cost is uh, one of the major concerns that industry should realize and bring down the shipping cost which is in control at the same time the chip suppliers should increase the production and the owners should see it's it's not going to be there for long but it's not a good idea to Make up the price, and the whole industry is going to suffer for that. I'm sure you're facing many challenges. So, what are the most challenging aspects you face? The biggest challenge what we face is because you cannot see radiation, and it's uh, it impacts you, but you cannot see it. So, people don't consider radiation monitoring as a primary requirement because it doesn't value add to their profits. Mm -hmm. So they don't invest in uh, putting the radiation monitor in place. And they buy only when they are either a victim or they have a, some statutory need to buy them. So that's the primary challenge to convince the industry that this is something which is uh, the need of the hour to protect the future generations. We need to have these monitoring systems in place. And uh, uh, like the developed nations like US and uh, Canada, they have uh, monitoring the normal uh, transport 
vehicles as well. So they have installations at uh, the entry points of their cities. So that is, I, I expect that is going to be the future that every entry point of the international borders all across the world will have these installations. And more than that, the industry is going to have this by either they buy it or the industry will be make them to buy. When it comes to the radiation, it's really harmful. Of course, we created the human We radiation. created radiation and uh, we are uh, the victim of radioactive sources all across the world. And our objective is to catch hold of all radioactive sources which are moving freely without getting monitored and it reaches to the industry. So we monitor that. And we ensure that people get the products which are radiation free. What message could you share with the younger generation? Maybe whether it's about the your company or about the recycling industry in general? For younger generation, I have to say one thing. That this environment is one time with us. If I want in future that people will get convinced and buy more equipment. Not for, not only for their facility, but for future uh, generation, they have to consider and put these equipments in place to protect the environment from radiation. Which is my subject. They should consider the radiation monitoring places where they have the scrap and possibility of radiation is there. And uh, future people, they are not going to talk good about the people who have not left good future for them. So if they think that they, they should not give uh, back for future, they should do some good stuff now. For future you have to invest now. Yeah, it was Mr. Amit from Redcom System. Thank you for watching me. See you next time.